Well, good morning, Professor Fury. Dacre, right? That's right. You're new here. Yes, I am. Well, I won't waste too much of your time or mine. I want you to prescribe me some dexedrine tablets. Month supply should do to be going on with, all right? Dexedrine? You feel the need of a stimulant? Yes, I do know what dexedrine is, Dacre. I'd be obliged if you just get scribbling. I'd like you to tell me why you think you need them first. You think that's your business, do you? Yes, I'm afraid it's precisely my business. I wouldn't prescribe a dangerous drug without first making sure it was indicated. Any doctor would tell you the same. You'd be surprised. Still, fair enough, you're quite right. Even a GP has his pride. The thing is, I have a tremendous logjam of work, not enough hours in the day. Crucial, I deliver on time. Ten years ago, I never needed more than three hours sleep a night. Now it seems more like six, and I'm losing concentration in the daytime. feel tired all the time. And you've used dextrine before in similar circumstances? Yes. But not uh, regularly? I'm not a complete bloody fool. I know they're addictive. And you normally see Dr. McCannon? I don't normally see any doctor because I'm never ill. I haven't lost a day's work through illness since I was 16. That's very impressive. Yes, it is, isn't it? And how do you think we would just get on with writing that prescription? If I have the time, there's nothing I'd enjoy more than a jolly gossip with a nice young medical man, but I have work to do if you haven't. You seem very anxious to get away, if you don't mind my saying so. Oh, you've grasped that, have you? Yes, I am very anxious to get away. Could you tell me why that is? My God, I can't believe this, because I have work to do! It isn't that there's uh, something you're anxious to avoid discussing. And what might that be? I don't know. Tavistock Institute. I beg your pardon? Don't deny it. You trained at the Tavi, didn't you? Or you've been got at by some half-witted Tavi lunatic. No, honestly. Birmingham, 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 Walsall. I don't believe you. You're a half-baked post-Freudian, aren't you? My God, these Tavi freaks have got a lot to answer for. I'm honestly not a post-Freudian. I'm uh, eclectic. Stand your ground, Dacre. I hate wafflers. Now, how are you going to proceed? I really don't think we should pursue this. Now, come on, man. I'm your patient. I need help. Well, I find it very interesting what you said about feeling tired all the time. And? And? I was wondering if you felt tired all the time in any other aspect of your life. You insulting little bastard. What? Are you suggesting I'm impotent? Is that it? No, not at all. But it is quite possible there's some central physical cause underlying your feelings of lassitude. Oh, there is, is there? And I do think it might be a good idea if you came in for a full examination. Oh, yes, you'd enjoy that, wouldn't you? Feel a little more in control of the situation if you had me naked and bent double with two rubber gloved fingers up my ass. Oh, yes, I follow your line of reasoning very well, Dacre. My God, I thought McCannon was the worst doctor on earth. But you take the bloody biscuit, Dacre, you really do. Look, do you think there's any point in continuing with this? Well, of course there is. Of course there is, why not? Well, we don't seem to be quite hitting it off. Oh, very astute of you. So I was thinking you might prefer to see another doctor. You're my doctor, Dacre. Just write my prescription. Look, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm not going to prescribe dexedrine for you. There's something else which is more sophisticated and more specific for what you need, which I think is a short-term high without any side effects like impairment of judgment. It's called Cotinac. I do think it would be a good idea if you came in for a full physical sometime soon. The feelings you describe might just be temporary strain, normal aging processes, but they might indicate diabetes or a thyroid problem or any one of a number of things. Now, you don't have to come to me for that. Go to Booper and pay for it, if you wish. And I must say that I sense there is something upsetting you very much that you can't talk to me about. And I do think you should consider talking to somebody. Really. Just write the prescription, damn you. Don't drink alcohol while you're taking these. They'll last you a fortnight. If you need more, come back. If you get any side effects, get in touch straight away, but you should be fine. Thank you very much. You must have enjoyed humiliating me. No, honestly, nothing was You don't was know me, Dacre, but ask around and they tell you that John Fury is a powerful friend to have on your side and a dangerous enemy to have against you. You're going to be sorry you ever met me, Dacre. A case conference. What a rare treat. We haven't had a nice, juicy case conference since McConaughey's sex change. I'm afraid it's not as juicy as that. I am rather worried about it. I think I'm on the right lines, but I seem to have antagonized the patient. And no harm in that, my dear fellow. Fire away, fire away. Let's have the details. Well, the patient's a man of 49, Professor. Workaholic, by the sound of him. He presented in what appeared to be a state of nervous excitement, but he was asking for stimulants so that he could work more efficiently. He also said he was tired all the time. Ah, search out the deep sexual anxiety, Stephen. Oh, Lord. I did, in a very tentative way, try to explore the nature of his tiredness. He uh, accused me of suggesting he was impotent. 
Which he is, of course, poor fellow. I also suggested he have a full physical checkup. Well, he reacted very negatively to that. He, uh, well, he fantasized it as a homosexual proposal of the sadomasochistic variety. <laughs> oh, my God, buddy, you certainly draw the loonies. <laughs> Tell us, Bob, how would you handle it? Give him a placebo, tell him to pull himself together and boot him out. Then drop a hint to the VC about early retirement. Save the university 25 grand by a few word processors. Thank you, Bob. Rosemary? No comment. I'm afraid I don't find boys' games terribly interesting. <laughs> so where does it stand at present? I prescribed a mild course of Cotonac. Well, he wasn't pleased. In fact, he became extremely belligerent. It was... Um, a bit frightening. Frightened you, did he? I won't have my doctors frightened by their patients. Stephen, you took exactly the right line. I am deeply sorry. Who is this wretched creature? He's called Professor Fury. Uh, uh. Oh, my God, you've done it now. Oh, yes, Stephen. You took exactly the right line in normal circumstances, but John Fury, well, he, he isn't a normal circumstance. I... Uh, I expect he criticised your diagnostic technique. Yes, he did. Mm, yes, took his MRCP before he moved into biochemistry. Brilliant man, brilliant man, but he's really got it in for doctors. And Stephen tried to give him psychosexual counselling. Oh, my God, buddy, you're right up Shit Creek without a paddle. He's pro-vice-chancellor, chairman of the finance committee, a very powerful political operator. He's already closed down film studies and media research, and I fear he's got his eye on us next. Handy with his fists, too. Mm. What? Put the creative writing fellow into hospital for a week. Compound fracture of the jaw, spot of internal bleeding. What? All hushed up, of course, and the poet made a complete recovery. Oh, yes, right as rain. We wouldn't want to alarm you, and Julie, Stephen. I mean, I wouldn't describe John Fury as the... Uh... A homicidal personality, would you, Bob? Good Lord, no, not homicidal. Just a bit of a ruffian, that's all. I see. Fine. Thank <laughs> you. 